Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Informatica support videos. Uh, my name is Donald Oji. So the topic for today is how to parameterize a source query. And in this video, I will demonstrate how uh, this can be done uh, using sample data in, in IDMC. All right, so in this mapping, um, I have a simple, a straightforward mapping with an Oracle source and a flat file as my target. And what I'm going to demonstrate um, is how you can parameterize the source query um, instead of hard coding uh, the query in the mapping itself. Uh, so the first thing you need to do uh, is basically come to this uh, parameter, parameter panel and uh, define an input parameter. In this case, I named it S query and is of type uh, data object. All right. And then in the source, uh, basically, um, make sure you select parameters as source type. And then from here, you can just pull down and select the S query parameter that you defined earlier. Okay. All right. So and then the next step after saving your mapping, you essentially want to create a mapping task. In the mapping task, right, uh, after selecting your connections, um, make sure the source query is query, right? And here you can just put a default query. Uh, this is not the actual query that is going to be picked up at runtime, uh, but you need to provide, you need a placeholder for a query, right? And then um, next you would need to provide your parameter location, the parameter file location, and also the parameter file name. And I can also show uh, the parameter file. So this is the actual parameter that I defined. And you can see um, the parameter S query. Uh, this is the select statement that is going to get uh, picked at runtime. Uh, so this select statement has some filters in it and I can also show in the table uh, itself. So if I go to uh, the Oracle table, if I run the count on the entire table, um, it shows that I have 2000 records. Uh, but if I add the query that I'm using for the parameter, if I execute this query, it only fetches 10 records. Okay. All right. So let's go back to Informatica. Excuse me. All right, so at this point, um, after specifying all the properties that are required, we can go ahead and, and kick off the job. So I'll run the job. It's running. Refresh and you can see that it succeeded and it processed the 10 records. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, we would love to hear from you. Uh, you can either contact us at, in, at supportvideos at informatica.com or twitter.com forward slash infosupport. Thank you.